Yes, uh, good evening. This is a new 10 cultivated plant. We already finished designing and put on commissioning. And I'm going to take you through, I'm going to take you through the whole process almost. And uh, I'm happy to be part of someone who is being viewed, a Ugandan who is putting up distillery plants. So that is a... Uh, the buffer tank but uh, uh that's the buffer tank and uh, these are the two distillate columns producing ethanol of uh rectified spirit quality good rectified spirit quality and uh the other side is our beer wash tank and spentless tank and uh, the other side is the the spent wash tank that is vinasi and uh, here are the siphon legs and uh, here is the the steam header uh, steam steam header where we operate uh, it is a manually operated plant uh, so this is what we inject into our towers so these are uh, the two towers you can see and that is uh, the rectification bottom. And uh, this is uh, the stripping or analyzer column. You can see it so well. And the operators are there for us. Over there, the tank you are seeing is a decanter, decanting system. And here is a uh, our coils, cooling coils for the for the red, for the fizzle oils and uh, low fizzle oils, and this is the bottom part of it, as you can see. And the other side is our intermediate storage vessels for both uh, rectified spirit and technical alcohol, and here is the main storage tank for spirit. And the other side is the loading area for the spirits. So we are moving up to see where we tap off fissile oil lines and how we measure the amount of fissile oil we are tapping. So we are heading to the fissile oil, uh, fissile oil uh, flow meters. We tap both uh, low fissile oils and uh, higher fissile oils as you can see so they're all measured and uh, we always tell how much we have got to draw out and uh, this is the bottom glass before you reach what they call the water column which help us in indicating if we have uh, some spirit losses at the bottom so that we can adjust on our operation parameters so we are moving up on the next level where we make our ethanol draws. So this is the, the gas tower, the gasification tower. You can see how it is working and we shall be seeing uh, how it vents to tap off the low boilers known as uh, aldehydes and carbon dioxide. And here we have our chromometer which we normally use to gauge the, ma the amount of feet per hour, that is fermented wash, per hour to our plant, into the analyzer. And these lines you are seeing, the three of them, going upward, there are six to eight, we normally tap off the fissile oils, uh, low fissile oils and uh, high fissile oils. And this is our rotameter which we use to gauge how much we are drawing. And uh, here we have our siphon tester. As you can see, the gentleman, the operator, is testing the strength. Check for us the strength, the strength of spirit. And uh, as you can see, uh, this is a, an alcohol meter, 15 degrees C, and showing you that the alcohol is at uh, 100%, but, but they tie still warm. By the time it cools, it will come back to 96.2 or 96. 
So the safe and tester, we use it majorly for two reasons: to check the the strength and also to do sensory, organoleptic uh, sensory, to do sensory test. Yes. And uh, over there is another rotameter where we tap off the another spirit known as impure gas, and this is known as technical alcohol. So we have it uh, tapped on the other vent condenser, the last condensers we are going to see. Uh, the purpose of this is to make sure or endeavor that whatever we tap off is uh, less of impurities. The, these are the impurities we take off, which they normally use in hot warming and uh, other, other things. And uh, over there we have our main uh, product cooler, that is the ethanol cooler. And over there is the low fuso oil outlet. These are also three valves. There is HF4 and LF4, low fuso oil outlet valves. So we both tap this for purposes of uh, tapping out all the possible impurities in our spirit. So over here I've shown you the three columns mainly. And uh, here you see I'd come on top to show you uh, the, this one is known as a uh, Edgasa tower with its reflux and this is the stripping tower you can see the, the kind of boiling here that is the stripping tower or analyzer and over there we have the, the we have the rect, rect, uh, rectification tower So uh, let's say when the vapors ascend before they go to the, to the rectifying tower, uh, they are first sent to the, the gas tower, which I've just shown you. And uh, the top vapors flow off to this, what is known as the condenser, uh, the gas condenser, for purposes of tapping off, fading off the low. Uh, and condensable vapors known as carbon dioxide and uh, aldehyde vapors. Then this is sent, pumped into this tower known as the analyzer, which I've just shown you. And these vapors from this line go into a vessel known as a demister. Demister vessel. Its work is to separate the vapors so that there is no uh, entrainment of. Uh, uh, there is no carryover of uh, liquid into the rectifying tower, this side. So you can see here, this tower is entering at a certain level and being demystified so that the liquid goes back and the vapors ascend at the top and enter what is known as the rectifying exhaust tower. And on this side, we have the cooling water from what is known as the main condenser. And this line is coming from the the vent condenser and the third one cooling water line is coming from the the, uh, the gas fine uh, condenser as you can see uh, so far the temperatures are fine uh, the delta t is okay we are within the range of eight uh, which is okay and uh, everything so far is fine so uh, when the vapors uh, enter the rectifying tower you find that uh, we have uh, uh, vapors ascending to the condensers, top condensers of the rectifying tower. We use beer to preheat so that uh, we have efficiency on the enough efficiency on heat uh, heat efficiency, and it will help us uh, reduce on the load at the water cooling. Then we the vapors ascend to the beer heaters from the beer heaters. They, went, they flow to one main condenser, which brings uh, most of the reflux. That's around, uh, around uh, 2,000 liters per hour. This is a 10 KPD plant, by the way. So I expect around 2,000 liters per hour. Then the remaining vapors, that's around 20%, flows to what is known as the main. But those, uh, around 5% is uh, some of the non-condensables to six which we take out as TA. So as you can see over here, we have this line, 
coming from the reflux point then from there it goes down to make a u leg uh, from there uh, we have those two lines there you can see them so part of it on this part here this side it goes back to the tower that is the rectifying tower then part of it on the other line we take it to to as uh, we take it as the cut and um, as you can see, we do all whatever it can to get the best product by making cuts so that we tap off almost all the impurities. And this pot you're seeing here over is the pot which does uh, remove the uncondensable vapors. Once we have these vapors flowing from the vent, con from the main condenser of the old gasser tower, then it flows in this pot to recover some of the liquid and take off the vapors. So here, once these lines uh, bring back the liquid, alcohol liquid, we tap off. We expect to have this kind of reflux on the tower. Then from there, we know that the strength will be maintained. When it comes out of 96%, by the way, and uh, here is where we have our three or four valves uh, to tap off. Uh, what is known as the main product you can open the second one a part of it and you open part of this one 50% of this and 50% of that reason being when you open 50% of this you have 50% of liquid with minimal impurities flowing to the main storage but again you may have an implication there might there might be an impact on strength because this one will give you a better strength than the second one but the second one has a better quality spirit so sometimes we open sometimes we close because uh, so far right now the plant we are running is still on manual mode all this will be rectified once we go or automatic so we are going to look at the vent condensers unfortunately it has started raining but uh, Hopefully, let me reach the cond condenser shortly, then I come back. So you can see, this is the main condenser, the venting port. This is the vent condenser. You can see the water lines for, uh, for the main and vent condensers. And here, the two heaters you are seeing are beer heaters of uh, total 9 square meters. These are the vapors ascending from the direct fire top and flowing to the beer heater one then beer heater two then we have our uh, mash mash line entering then coming out from here to the analyzer tower so these are our fermentation uh, section we have four of them we have four of them, and uh, this is a uh, clarifier, clarifier, as you can see. And here we have our heat exchanger for further heat recovery on preheating the fermented beer. And uh, as you can see, 